YouTube. You love it and you hate it. Whether it's watching your favorite games. Top of the morning, show, ladies. My name is Jack Septicay, and welcome back to Tasty Planet. I have or to no catch up on the latest music. Searching for the next thing to happen. What if life is just happening for? It's not the sign of the dog in the fight. It's the sign of the fight in the dog in the dog fight. I didn't do this. Explain Whatever what you seem to be on. into, I've YouTube always has Why did you something kill this for person, everyone. Carl? I do not kill people. That is that is my least favorite thing to do. Tell me. You know, honestly, exactly I couldn't even think of a role without it. YouTube. But, you know, like every other big name social media sharing site there is in the world, you're always gonna have your bad apples. Dear fat people, ah, so before we really got this video, what are you gonna do, fat people? What are you gonna do? What up, invaders? Chris here. I don't know about you guys, but every time I go to Starbucks, there's always a really cute girl working there. I will, and the wall just got 10 feet taller, believe me. Now, normally these bad apples are just a select few, the trifecta of you know, pettiness, but you know, lately, things have started to pick up a lot of steam. Hey, let me, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me start from the beginning. How's it going, bros? My name is Peter Pan. Hello! Hi! <laughs> The discussion on YouTube drama formally kicked off when two big name YouTubers named PewDiePie and Markiplier went on their channels to talk about a growing trend in the YouTube community. YouTube has a problem. YouTube is changing. YouTube has changed. The problem and change they're referring to? Drama. Now, both guys have their opinions on how or why this is going on in the site, but PewDiePie seemed to have summed up a little bit better. I've said this before, but YouTube is becoming this drama machine where everyone is throwing in their two cents to get 20 cents back. Now keep in mind here, these are two very big name YouTubers, with PewDiePie having over 44 million subscribers and Markiplier having 12. Now, now most of the time when two big name YouTubers come on the site and say, yo, look, something's happening, you all should pay attention, everybody's gonna start paying attention. Uh, and yeah, and by people, I mean other YouTubers. The YouTube community. Holy shit! What a shitstorm. It's the worst it's ever been. YouTube is now a scary place. What's happened to the community? Blah, 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 just shut up. Shut Enter London-based YouTuber KSI, who made a video denouncing Markiplier and PewDiePie's views on YouTube drama, citing PewDiePie as being a little bit hypocritical when it came to the issue. Now, a day later, oh, PewDiePie took to Twitter, like stating that going to KSI for advice about acting online is about as useful as asking Toby Turner for relationship advice. Now that came at a rather insensitive time, as Toby Turner is facing his own little problems. Why is up, Drum Alert Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. The YouTube world came to a standstill when YouTuber and blogger April F. took to Tumblr accusing the Minecraft Let's Player of drugging her, raping her, and other forms of relationship abuse. Now other YouTubers came out in their support for April, including her friend Gizzy, who states that he looked up to Tobuscus, but after seeing the new drama alert video, it opened up his eyes. Now Toby and April do know each other, as photos suggest that they have been everywhere together and at many events, including a Tobuscus barbecue they were both in attendance. Also in attendance was YouTuber Max Landis, who took to Twitter tweeting, Since people are asking, yes, I know April F. She was Toby's on-off girlfriend for a long time and was always at his stuff. Toby once told me she was a delusional climber and seemed to hate her, but he'd invite her to my stuff too and was always around her. Toby has been very unkind to several of my friends. It's why I don't see him anymore. I was sick of hearing witnessing this behavior. Now, texts between April and Toby show that Toby had slipped Molly into April's drink without her knowledge. Since then, other female YouTubers have came out condemning Toby's actions and supporting April, including Pamela Horton, Claire Lords, and Amelia Talon, who states that Toby had received Molly from porn stars and he would also have sex with them. Now, despite all of these accusations, his fans are still around him and still supporting him including a defending Facebook text post from his mother, Jackie Turner, accusing April of just being plain crazy and delusional. Toby himself has also came forward in the video called The Truth, 
stating that these accusations are totally false. These allegations are absolutely false. I just wanted to address it. As I was doing this documentary, I thought to myself, what if these guys weren't as big as they were? What if they weren't just high and mighty, chilling on top of an iron throne, looking down at all of us other smaller YouTubers and demanding that their voices be heard? Do you think anyone would have taken them seriously about the whole YouTube drama nonsense? Not really sure. But one thing is for sure, at least, we're not going to see an end to this anytime soon. There will always be more discussions on YouTube drama. It's not something that goes away. Think of it like a giant scab that just grows on somebody and just keeps growing and growing and no one's really going to scrape it off. Everyone's going to try putting a little ointment on to shrink it and then it, it, one day it'll just keep getting bigger and bigger again. I know I use like the most grossest analogies on planet Earth, but you know, you that's basically what it is. Now, YouTube, uh, despite what you might think, or what you want to interpret, YouTube is good for many things, you know? For, you know, watching music, and listening to cool political debates, or even saving you money trying to go see Hamilton. YouTube has something for everyone to enjoy. And if we can get past this whole drama nonsense, I think the internet's gonna be a much better place.